Let's take a look at NLP in FlexiCapture. And before we create a project, let's go ahead and look at some of the images that we'll process. So let me back up and take a look here. We've got some agreements. And this one is an eight page document. These are good candidates for NLP. We could extract really all the data from this, but we're going to focus on certain data. But uh, what's good about this for NLP is the sections and um, no tables. So these are good candidates. Let's take a look at, this is a three page document. Nice clean data. All right, let's switch over and start a FlexiCapture project. So I'll go ahead and create a new project. And I'll go into CIB training, my local FC projects, and I'll call this NLP demo. So we have a brand new project here. And there are, of course, no document definitions. So we'll create a new one. And the new document definition will be based on semi structured or unstructured documents. So we'll go ahead and um, read through this NLP technology may be employed to extract information from unstructured documents. Sounds great. And there's no reason to provide images right now. And there's no associated layout. So we'll just go ahead and click Next. And we'll call this Contracts. And I should make one other point. If we look at our document definition properties, um, there are only three languages supported for NLP currently. That's English, German, and Russian. So I'll cancel out of that. And so we've got a blank document definition, no images, no fields. And what we're going to go after um, is party information. Who are the parties in the contract? The duration. And to help speed this up, we can look for different segments to search for data within. So we can create, uh, we can look at the preamble segment to find the parties, for instance. So the very first field that I will create will be called preamble segment. And this is something that can have a region. And also, if there were text sections that went over page boundaries, I would click Allow Multiple Regions. And then lastly, we want to click Text Segment, as this is a segment from which we're going to be searching. So can have region is indicative of the fact that we're going to do training. Next, I will add a couple more fields. I will create a field of the text type called party one. And I will also uh, create party two. These are fields that are going to be found within the preamble segment. And since we're going to use training here, we can select both of these fields. Click on properties and select can have region. So be aware that we're not capturing data like the entire preamble segment. We're going to capture party one and party two from within the boundaries of the preamble segment. Next, I will create the term segment. And I'll call this term seg. And I'll click can have region. I should select text segment as well, but I won't. It's incorrect. Uh, but we'll see what happens. So there's our term segment. And within that, we're going to capture a start date. And we're going to capture an end date. And those will be both captured from the term segment. And I need to select both of these since we're doing training and click on 
can have region. When we do field extraction training, traditionally we want to um, limit the total number of fields that we're using, but when it comes to NLP training, there's no such restriction. So we've created our fields, and next we need to create our NLP models, and those are stored in the document section. So let's go to our data section here, contracts. Let's go to the properties, and we can be reminded that there's different tabs. There's um, a data set tab, a rules tab, flexi layout tab, but we're focused here on the NLP tab. So here we have a space for extraction scripts, and above that, a place for creation of NLP models. So let's go ahead and create an NLP model. This will be called segments. So here our source is going to be section, that's the entire document, and the model type will be segmentation, and we'll keep the language at English. And now we're going to include the fields that are involved in this NLP model. So we'll select our preamble segment and our term segment. Those are both of our segments for this segmentation model. We can see kind of a summary here. So we will create two more NLP models for the field extraction, one for the parties and the other one for the dates. So I'll go ahead and create another NLP model, and I will call this accordingly parties. And the source is not the section, the entire document, but rather the paragraph, the section, the segment, where we want to grab the party data from. And this model type is extraction, and we'll hit the next button, and we will specify our result fields. So we've got party one and party two. So we can see here we're going to be looking within the source preamble segment for these two fields. Okay, and we're going to create one more NLP model. And that NLP model will be called dates. And then again, we're not looking in the entire document, and we're not looking in the preamble segment, but rather the term segment, because that's where the dates will be found. This will be an extraction model type. And then again, my result fields in this case will be start date and end date. And this really is all that needs to be developed when we create NLP-based document definitions. So let's save, close, and publish this document definition. Since we're going to process multi-page documents, let's click on Project Properties. And under Image Preprocessing, let's select Create Document for each image file. So we're going to create this neural network, and we'll start off by going to Field Extraction Training Batches, and we'll create a new batch, and we'll select Contracts, as well as the default variant. And the next step is very important. You see this NLP column. We need to make sure that that's checked. So I'm going to right-click and say that this is an NLP batch, and we can see a check mark there. If we don't do that, we're going to use our traditional um, field extraction training where we're looking at field geography, if you will, um, position relative to keywords. And so that's not the approach we want to take here at all. Uh, this is an NLP batch. Next, we'll load images. And in a production environment, we need to account for the fact that there will be some time-consuming markup. So general rule of thumb um, might vary document by document, but you want to have um, several documents in production and allocate a good amount of time to do the markup. We're going to do a reduced amount of markup 
uh, just for time's sake for this demo. So here I've got nine documents, but in production we'd have many more. So as kind of a lower threshold, we'd suggest something along the lines of 80 documents in the training batch. So now we're going to do some markup. I'll go ahead and open up this first document. And now, now it's time to mark up our fields. So you see all our fields, none have been trained yet, so they're all blank. And you remember that we marked um, the preamble segment as a text segment field. And let's go ahead and select that data first. And you might recall that we neglected to mark term segment as a text segment. And what that allows us to do is grab data within this segment. So let's go ahead and do that. Party one here is Tennessee uh, Board of Renewals. So I'll select Tennessee, and this is an important feature. Um, I can then hit the shift key, go down here, and select the rest of this data. So now I've got all the data that I need for party one. For party two, I will select William Hicks, just dragging the mouse over here. And now the term segment. We gotta go find the term segment, the term paragraph. And that looks like it's right here on the second page. And I will select this data. But now I can't select anything within it because we neglected to click that checkbox, the text segment checkbox. So what we can do instead is right click and click lock. And when we do that, now we're able to mark up data within this section. So it's really equivalent. So I'll select my start date and my end date. And now we can mark up the second document. Once again, I'll start with the preamble segment. There it is. And I'll select my parties. Second party. Once again, this traverses line boundaries, so I'm going to hold the shift key and get the rest of this. There we go. And then I'll have to find the term segment. So you need to have familiarity with these documents to actually find where the data is, and that takes some time. I'll go ahead and select this. And once again, we need to manually lock it because we didn't mark this as a text segment. And now I can indicate the start date. So I can just click on September and then drag my mouse to the right. And then for end date, same thing. I can click on August and move my mouse to the right. And there I've got my data. So it would take some time to go through and mark up the other um, seven documents. So I'll go ahead and open up a project where all the markup has been completed in the same fashion that the first two documents here were marked up, but the document hasn't been trained yet. So we'll go ahead and switch over to the project where all the markup has been completed. You can open this up and look at some of these documents and you can see that the markup is all done. And what's next is um, selecting all the documents, right click and click train. And we can take a look at the tasks. Um, what we'll notice is that um, actually the training of the segments actually happens quite quickly. And um, then what takes more time is the field extraction training. So segmentation is right there, but then training of the field using the other models for field extraction 
will take more time. So again, that segmentation training took about 20 seconds. Then NLP model for parties executes. And when that's done, we'll execute the NLP model for dates. And we can just jump ahead and take a look at how things look once the training has been completed. So I'll just go ahead and take a look at a completed project. So I'm now looking at a working batch and we put images in here and we can look at the data that was found and extracted, properly collected. So we can see uh, good results here. One thing that we may also notice is that these rather long um, segments that were captured could be um, taking a lot more space on our form. And the way that we deal with that is by going into our document definition. You can really do this at any time. And then select um, our segment fields. I can select both of those from the data form. I'll right click and select properties and we can set minimum size and fixed width and change the width to 300 dots and that will give us some really good results when a verifier is actually seeing the results like this. Otherwise, this uh, field could stretch way far to the right and make it really hard to view the data. So both training of NLP batches and recognition of NLP documents takes time. So when you're looking at it, if you see a yellow flag and you see certainly recognize characters as a low number, um, you need to wait. It's not done yet. You wait for the yellow flag to go away and to get a certainly recognized character count that's more realistic. And then you'll know it's done processing. So sometimes these can be in a testing cycle, um, overnight events when you want to um, um, train large batches and, and test very large batches. So again, we want to have our training batches be a fairly good size. Um, so that's where you may want to allocate plenty of time or go off and do another task while the training happens. And then when you're testing work batches, you can make your work batches smaller so that um, you can see some results more quickly. But we're seeing some very, very powerful results here.